everybody, Anthony on Tech here, and I am back. I did have a few days away from the channel because I was away for the weekend. I uh, didn't get to do a tech vlog. I had, you know, it was, it was a busy weekend. Didn't have time to do much. Um, and I am, I was working on the um, 200 subscriber video, uh, or I was trying to work on it, but I just gonna start by saying, uh, you know, thank you to everyone who helped me reach 200 subscribers. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there who enjoy my content and they enjoy watching what I put out there and there's people out there whose only purpose on my channel is to make fun of my videos and attack me but I still get the views um, you know some not so much some I get a lot of views and I'm still trying to reach some milestones so thank you to everyone who helped me reach 200 subscribers whether you're a supporter or a hater couldn't have done it without you so I've been up since early this morning, around 9 a.m., because that's when the Pokemon presentation was uh, scheduled for. And, you know, it started with some stuff with uh, Pokemon Cafe and Pokemon Unite uh, and Pokemon Go. You know, I didn't really put too much interest in those. Um, the one thing about Pokemon Go that was interesting to me is they are putting in the Galar Region Pokemon in there. Um, and apparently, I guess Hoopa may be the next mythical Pokemon to catch. Uh, but the most important thing about this presentation we got was uh, some more information on Diamond and Pearl remakes and more information on Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now, I'm going to start by saying I was disappointed within the Diamond and Pearl information and I have reasons for that. So I do have some notes here of what they went over. Um, some of it is, uh, you know, nice additions, I guess. but. I was hoping for certain things to be different, so we'll go into that right now. Uh, the first thing uh, they showed is uh, they're gonna have um, secret bases and different like hideaway locations, uh, kind of similar to the uh, Hoenn region games, where you can have a secret base that you can uh, you know put furniture in it, in it and stuff like that. But they also mentioned uh, different locations that are underground where it'll spawn specific Pokemon uh, in those locations, and those Pokemon will spawn based on whatever statue you place in your base, I believe. Um, so that'd be an interesting new mechanic to look at, uh, something that seems pretty interesting. Uh, they mentioned something about decorating the Pokeballs and like, you know, you put stickers on your Pokeball and doing so, we'll have the Pokemon uh, be summoned with like a different, you know, not an animation difference, but more like a, um, a different effect to them, you know, with like stars or, you know, different stripes or whatever. You know, just a little lighting effect to, to use. Um, I don't know how many people are going to use it um, as a major thing. I'm not going to really use it at all. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping they don't really put you through a long tutorial about that, but something that was there. Uh, changing your character's outfit, that's pretty good to see. Uh, you know, a lot of these newer Pokemon games do let you change your outfit and your clothes, so we are. it's good that we can see that for this kind of game, being a remake of an old game. Um, there is uh, an online uh, mode, so to speak, it's like a union room is what they call it, where you can meet other players and um, play online with them, uh, so that's pretty cool. I think that they said in the, in the presentation, I could be wrong, but I think they said they won't have any uh, ranked battles in the game, or unless that's the other game I'm thinking of. We'll get into that in a bit, but they have a union room, so you can play online with people, uh, trade and battle, I assume. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but here's where I had a problem with the trailers, uh, or the trailer, and what I was really hoping to see as a, a wish list type of thing, is I was hoping to see the return of Mega Evolution. Now I understand this is supposed to be a, uh, a remake that's uh, very faithful to the original, but I still think these additions could have been pretty good, maybe it would have been well, well received. Um, I miss Mega Evolution, I honestly liked it more than the Z moves from Sunny Moon, and I like Mega Evolution more than I like uh, Dynamax and Gigantamax, in my opinion, that's what I like better. And it would have been cool to see those starters in a new uh, form, um, you know, some other Pokemon as well. And also, uh, I was a little upset to see there's no Primal Reversion. Now, uh, if you don't know, there is a Mystery Dungeon game that does have a Primal Dialga, and he is a bit different than his normal form. So it would have been cool to see Primal versions of the two. Uh, since the game comes out in about uh, three months or so, and there is already a box art for it, you know there's no Primal Forms, uh, there probably won't even be one. Um, I don't know what post-game stuff they're trying to include, if they are going to include anything, but a post-game would be nice, uh, they didn't really talk about that at all. Uh, so 
I mean, I'm still interested in the game. It's Pokemon, and it's uh, I have basically no memory of anything with Diamond and Pearl, other than some of the Pokemon. So, you know, I get to go back to it and play it and see how things are different and or see how see what they did to the game, see how how fun it, it could be. And it looks it does look fun. It looks like um, it's gonna be fun. I think they did add a feature where you can still have your uh, Pokemon follow you outside the Pokeball. Similar to the Let's Go games, uh, so if that, I believe I saw that in the trailer. So that would be pretty cool to see. Uh, that is pretty cool. So moving on to Pokemon Legends Arceus, uh, which uh, also comes out. It comes out next year. So Diamond Pro comes out this November. Arceus comes out January 28th. Um, here's the great thing about that: uh, they showed more about it. They showed more gameplay. They showed more environments. They showed some new Pokemon's. Um, you know, like there's a. Um, they're in a new region, or as they, it's supposed to be Sinnoh, but I guess it's like a part of Sinnoh region, I don't know. But there's new forms. I forgot the name of the island, uh, but there's a new Growlithe form, which looks pretty cute. Uh, there's a new, uh, I don't know if there's a new form or an evolution of Braviary. Um, and there's an evolution of the deer. I can't remember the name of the deer. But what they did show is um, you do take damage as a trainer. The trainer does take damage from Pokemon. Uh, and you, you, of course, can battle with a Pokemon. Um, you can fly with the bird, you can ride on the deer's back, you can go through the waters on some weird fish thing, I forgot the name of the fish, but it looks very interesting, it kind of looks like it is aiming for a bit more of a Breath of the Wild slash Pokemon type of thing, uh, and I am very excited to see how this thing goes with the story. Uh, they did mention the uh, team that you're working for, uh, your research team, I don't remember the exact name of it, but it's basically the predecessor for Team Galactic it has the same logo with the G, the same color scheme. So you're basically taking part of Team Galactic before it became Team Galactic. And they mentioned that the map is supposed to be like this one volcano surrounded by other environments, uh, similar to Breath of the Wild. You have the volcano uh, at one point, or I guess in Breath of the Wild, you have the castle. And you have all these different surrounding areas, deserts and waters and volcanoes and stuff. So, there's a lot of different environments here, which means a lot of different Pokemon that you can encounter. Now, being that some of these Pokemons do have new forms for this game, the rumors of those starter choices having new forms could be true. Uh, you know, the starter Pokemons are Oshawa, Rowlet, and Cyndaquil. So, we could see new evolution forms of those Pokemon, which is pretty uh, interesting if it does happen. Uh, so that was the video for, that we got for today. Uh, they did mention that I believe Arceus is strictly a single player game only. I don't think they're having any multiplayer uh, capabilities in the game. But they did say at some point next year they will include support to use Pokemon Home with these three new games, Diamond Pro Remix and Arceus. So that tells me you just be able to put it into Home and either put it in Sword and Shield if they allow that or put it in the next game after that. But, I am more excited for Arceus a bit more now than I was before. Um, I'm still hoping to see some more before the year is over. And I'm excited for Diamond and Pearl Remake because I uh, definitely want to go back to those regions and check them out. I did pre-order the double pack, so I will be unboxing both Diamond and Pearl, or Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, for you guys on this channel. So when the time comes in November, look out for that. But that is my video for today. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here. And Here's um, here's to the road to 300 subscribers. We're at 200. Here's to the road for 300. I will see you guys next time.